It is time to stop banning Shale, because in this video you will learn the ideas behind all four objectives, how to hold them and where to place the utility, all with the reasons behind them. If you will have any further questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. With having said this, let's get going, straight to the top floor, that is bedroom and office. Close it. Half wall. And box as well as 51 52 and 53 windows numbers representing windows coming from the library side respectively so library piano and toilet windows and k9 there are two ways of defending this side but both defense has something in common they both have presentance and utility around solarium or and trophy, but also they need to defend library side. It's up to your team what you want to hold heavier, and in this video we'll be talking about extended hold towards the library. We'll also assume that Volky was banned. Let's talk about reinforcements, utility and the player's position. Reinforcements should be put, four in the bedroom, one facing solar and the other two facing toilets and the final one will face the other objective. Reasons will be put in a bit. Another set of reinforcements will be facing toilet from the closet. The single reinforcement facing solar is against solar double windows, and that you can play in the closet safe. We reinforce bathroom walls to bedroom, for the same reason why we have previously reinforced the solar one, so you could play in the bedroom closet somewhat safely. You also don't want to let the takers plant in this corner, as the moment they get bathroom and solar in control, you won't be able to deny the plant. The last single reinforcement is due to the bedroom double window facing half wall and that area. We'll have double reinforced by the half wall mainly against the mezzan push and these angles, which we'll talk a bit later. The last reinforcement will be put from the top fire to library allowing you to play on the top of the stairs, as well as to play against the library from different angles. For the rotations, we will need between top fire towards the box, and box to library. This reinforcement is so you can rotate to library, say, from one of the library windows. And since you have double reinforcements there, you're not extra exposed with the rotations. You will want to pair up at the bubble shield facing K9, so only repelling upside down players can see the rotations. To play against the rappel upside down, make sure to crouch or prone. Speaking about the windows, be careful about the 51. Don't get tunnel vision from 51. 51 does not have an angle towards these rotations. But the solo library window has an angle towards deeper box. Anyone that plays in this position needs to be aware of the angles. These feet level holes are there to make the plant behind the half wall impossible against the library stairs. And the body level line of sides are there to help your library stall slightly a bit more with a novice player against the library. And the 51. We will need a rotation between the objectives. If you have a deployable shield, putting it by piano could be great, as the only way to push that player is from the K9 balcony push. And due to that, it will be great to have any trip or barbed wire denying this outside area. But also, you will need one of the utilities by all of the staircases and that makes it at least 4 traps. For the library stairs, put them on the bottom part, due to the positioning of a defender. Finally, for the defenders, you will need to have one by the top fire and the library stairs. These two are raiding each other against different kinds of pushes. Then you will need to have someone in bedroom, solar, an office or piano. The importance of these two players is that they need to be ready to run out on the balconies because the takers will be spread a lot in doing the library push. Having pulls will be beneficial a lot, as it will give away where all the takers are, or Valkyrie if she's not banned. But again, running out of the toilet window or K9 should be considered as an option if required, for your roamers, around the library. For the late round, consider running out on the bedroom window repel from the basement, as that guy splits your objectives in half. Playing during the later round from the bedroom piano side is totally fine against the library and the K9 push. 
important cause of the wine cellar and snowball sites are trench, connector, short and long. And now let's talk about the snowball and wine cellar. There are 8 required reinforcements here. Find the wine cellar, 2 facing big garage, 2 facing trench and 1 facing snowball exterior walls. Then we'll have to reinforce the connector hatch which is located in the fireplace. And the last two reinforcements are facing outside snowmobile. These are all walls that are for obvious reasons, maybe the only that needs slight explanation is the one between the objectives. It's mainly so you can play in the wine cellar even if they open up snowbill garage. Imagine if they make Maverick lines there, the full angle from the snowbill all the way to the wine cellar will be closed because of that. This also allows you to contest snowbill push from the reinforcements and the rotations, and that's the only mandatory rotation to make in this side. Now, having barbed wires or traps on the blue stairs and on the snowbill stairs is important. Both traps have to be put above the stairs, so the defender can be playing by the stairs and act upon the barbed wire or the trap. You need to have one player in the connector, as that room connects objectives, depending on the attacker's push. You can play in the snowbill against Weinzeller through the rotation angle and reverse. Some teams could also extend their hold with a trench hold and have a utility there. However, reinforcing the wine cellar hatch or contesting it hard with roamers is mandatory then. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Roamers usually play around the games and bars. Some teams like to even go full map roam with the SSG hold. But that means destroying wine cellar or dining hatch, so you could contest the attackers if they ignore you on the top. We will talk about bar and gaming now. This site is harder to defend in rank because it requires a bit more coordination. Having said this, bar and gaming is considered as a better objective than wine cellar and snowmobile in competitive because you can use a lot of the utility and manpower in library, forcing the takers to push on the solar side and to do one dimensional push. Let's talk about the utility. Three reinforcements can be put in the stock, one facing stairs and the other two are facing gaming. This will enable you to play in the stock pretty safely. Be aware of the top reinforcements angle from the library. Before we go to the rest of the reinforcements, those head level line of sights are for smoke to be able to smoke out the default from two different ways. The angles and from the doorway on the left side. We'll need a reinforcement between the bar and its hallway on the right to disable an angle from the dining hall to stock. For similar reasons, just one reinforcement is enough from the dining to bar hall, so takers cannot have an angle from the dining towards the library stairs. The rest of the utility is on the top. The library setup can be similar to the bedroom and the office, two rotations next to each other against the 51 as well as the library single window. The global shield facing K9 and two reinforcements here. What you can do additionally is to, instead of having a shield and piano, which you really don't need to, to have a shield from the top library towards the half wall, double walls that should be reinforced. This shield will allow your library stairs player to deny the solar push with the shield. You have one reinforcement left, up to you where to use it. So for the positions, I have already mentioned stock and the library stairs. These are must. Stock denies both objectives and stalls the push if a rush push happens, whereas the library stairs guy is connecting roamers with the objectives, similarly as with the red stairs person on villa for the games and navy defense. You will need someone in the library's hallway and one at the top of the fire stairs. And for the fifth guy, he should be by the corner, and the corner guy can only be pushed from a taker's vaulting over the window. So frost mains can be picked here. Go your nades, down go your explosives. TSM find themselves in significantly tougher spot because of that. Beautiful nade there from Achieve though to try and balance it out. However, it only nets one. The corner guy is very strong position as he denies takers getting the important area, which is library. But also he can play vertically onto games. Therefore, he needs to get help with the top fire stairs guy or the library stairs guy. Overall, expect a solar push and an attacker rotating to 51 and the library windows. Last but not at least, kitchen and dining, most likely the worst objective in both ranked and comp. This side can be played in several ways, such as with mediocre vertical hold with heavy C4 plays, such as pulls and so on C4, or with a heavy vertical hold. I'll talk about the vertical hold here and for the utility. 
will have fire reinforcements on the first floor. Three just like this, two facing fire and one facing bar hole. That solo wall is mainly so you can play long angles from the dining to trophy. Keep in mind that if fire gets opened, you can play super safe behind the half wall. We'll have two rotations like this, so you can safely go from the half wall to kitchen and reverse. Or even to trove if no attacker is by one of the west lobby windows. The other two reinforcements are against the west lobby push from trophy, to sweet up your trophy player. It's recommended but not mandatory to have body level line of sights on the other trophy walls. To finish up the utility on the first floor, it is advisable to have melee holes towards the game's hole, as well as to have vertical holes on the second floor towards the top of the reinforcements, all the way towards the bar's hallway. You might want to have a trap gadget to dining's hall. For the second floor, we will block off solar windows on the bedroom, then we'll have this solar reinforcement, and the office double reinforcement to the top fire. The reasons were previously explained. You might want to also open up the body line of size towards the library, but it is not necessary. Having wall carrier pulls is mandatory, so you can know from where you can play aggressive. Aside from having two people down, trophy and dining. You can spend up to three people around piano, office, bedroom and even library area. Keep in mind that you can deny dining walls being open from the top and the bottom fire stairs.